Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm at the beautiful one acre lot community of Bell Oaks in the Texas Hill Country town of Boverde. And the reason I'm out here is because I've got a client who's getting a gorgeous home being built by Grand, en Grand Endeavor. Let me get that right. And this is a Jolie plan, so I want to show you what it looks like as of late January 2023. Let's go check it out. All right, this is gonna be a beautiful home. I do like the community of Bell Oak. This can be a very quiet, peaceful community. And uh, as you can tell, lots of uh, live oak trees. There's actually quite a few lots on the market right now. The developer has finished selling their lots. However, there's tons of secondary lots, meaning people bought them before and then life happened and now they're back putting them back on the market again. So, I believe this lot right next to him is for sale as well. But yeah, this can be a beautiful lot. This community is relatively flat as well. And why that's important is that keeps your build cost down because you're not having to build a giant slab. All right, I'm gonna, I absolutely love <clears throat> what this house is starting to look like. I have another client building a Grand Endeavor home in Vintage Oaks, and they, they added some upgrades, but not a lot. My client here has added a lot of upgrades, so this house is going to be amazing. Let's head on, head on in and check it out. All right, this is going to be a beautiful entry. I love these uh, doors that they're putting in. That's going to be just so beautiful. Yes, I know you got to look past the plastic, but yeah, nice little sitting area, which is going to be a nice view of these oak trees. It's going to be right in front of his house. They've already cleared out the cedars, so these oak trees are going to be able to grow a little faster because, if you didn't know, cedars suck up a lot of water. All right, right when you come in, you can see you're opening to the big, giant, great room. I mentioned upgrades. One of the things my client did and that you can do with Grand Endeavor is make changes. And one of those changes, he added an extra two feet because he wanted this house to be a little bit grander than the standard Jolie planned. But speaking of grand, he did go up for the ceiling. So once this is all done, you're gonna be people are gonna walk in and go, wow, this is nice. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, right up front, you're gonna have your office. You've got two outlets in the floors and a super tall ceiling up here. It's gonna be so cool. I'm just imagining uh, really soon my client is gonna be able to sit behind his desk located here. Looks like you got some TV mounts going to go in and have a gorgeous view out the front. That's going to be really neat to have in your office in this. And yeah, these are this is going to be a beautiful. You got your kitchen area there, your dining room space. We'll get to that in a second. First, I want to show off some of these secondary bedrooms. This does have four bedrooms in it. We're going to start back here with the far bedroom. So you can tell they kept the same uh, arch windows and also kept super tall ceilings. It's gonna be a good sized bedroom. So all these bedrooms are gonna be good sized. And this bedroom is gonna be sharing a sink. And then this is gonna be the closet for this bedroom. Well, not sharing, take that back. It's gonna have its own private sink. They're sharing the bathtub and toilet with the people who are in this bedroom. So this bedroom is going to have its own private sink. We're just kind of going reverse order here because yeah there's bedroom three. And this bedroom is going to have its own big big window. Let me show off these windows a second. Bear with me. Camera work might be a little iffy but I love these windows because you got you can lift them up. I mean you have to use two hands here so there you go. By pulling in these little tabs here allows you to open the window from the inside. That way you don't have to go outside to clean the outside part of the window. Put it back in, push it back down, and you're good to go. All right, I just want to show off the windows. I think they're kind of cool. All right, this bedroom is going to have its own good size closet. And like I said, it's going to have its own private sink and another door to share the toilet and bathtub. <clears throat> All right, let's head on back out here to the main area. And let's go look at this kitchen. 
Man, that's just it means just so much space. There's kind of a big island set up right here. You're gonna have your countertop space with your refrigerator. There's the hookups for the fridge. Gas stove on this side. And yeah, this is gonna be a really neat kitchen. But coming in from the garage, oh, see the windows they have coming in from this big three car garage. Tall ceiling, so you can be able to park wherever he wants to park in here and still have plenty of space because you can pull your wheels all the way up to the front. Yeah, this can be a really nice sized garage. But coming in from the garage, if that was his means chosen to come in, you're gonna have a, I forget what this is actually be because your utility room is over there. Maybe it's just a nice little closet space because this is a, could be your little mud room set up. Your utility room, you have your washer hookup, your dryer hookup, and you can have a sink right here. This is kind of cool. It's got a little hookup for the refrigerator. So you can have a secondary fridge, a little broom closet. <coughs> I'm gonna have to ask my client what this room is supposed to be for because I'm kind of curious now. But coming around, this is obviously a big dining room. Before we go out and look at the back porch, I wanna show off the game room because yes, my friends, he's gotta have a game room in this house and it's gonna be a big one. Super cool. I've gotta to remember to uh, get that invite to the housewarm party. So, uh, cause I wanna come here, I'll bring some nice whiskey because it looks like he's gonna have a bar. I'm thinking that because We've got plumbing for a small sink right here. So I have to verify with him if he's putting a bar in here. So yes, I, I don't keep tabs of everything that my client's doing. That's a lot with them and the builder. And this builder has been working with them quite a bit and uh, adding all these bells and whistles to this house. So coming out of this game room, you're gonna have access to this full bath just like this other bedroom will have. So I'm assuming this is probably gonna be his long-term guest bedroom type situation because it's a good sized bedroom with a full bath attached to it. And swinging around here, it's gonna be the closet for this bedroom. So yeah, if you have long-term guests, it'll be really neat to be on this side of the house, kind of away from everybody else and uh, yeah, there's gonna be some good parties going on in the game room there. Like I said, big dining room space. Now we can finally head on out to this back porch because there's gonna be another neat little feature, the pool. Uh, before we show off the pool, we show you just how big this patio space is gonna be. I mean, this is a Jolie plan. Uh, he went a little extended with the patio. So this is gonna be really nice. And these sliding doors, uh, Grand Endeavor has a couple different tiers of sliding doors. Uh, my client went with their top tier sliding door and it's really not too hard to open that all the way up. Let's go ahead and do that. If my daughter were here, she'd be begging to pull off the plastic because in her mind she'd be going, oh, that's so satisfying. So look at that, these sliding doors go all the way into this little compartment here. So I don't wanna push it all the way back, but yeah, he's got this extra compartment that's gonna be walled in. And what that does, get back here so you can see it. On gorgeous days like it is today, you can have this whole space open up access to the pool is going to be so cool like i said as i'm filming this it, it is 22 january 2023 temperature outside is about 65 degrees and gorgeous so yeah he can open this whole thing up and just really extend his entertainment area absolutely love that <clears throat> but let's talk about this pool if you're getting a custom built home or semi-custom built home and you know you're getting a pool in, it's always a great idea 
to do that in conjunction with getting the house built because there are certain plumbing features that need to be added during the construction phase. So if that's your goal, talk with the builder and let the pool people work alongside the builder. So it's gonna be a really good deep. size, nice and deep in this section. Don't mind the little rainwater setup. <coughs> let me just like walk around here, show off this hot tub. <laughs> and uh, yeah, on those cool nights in Texas, getting in the hot tub's kinda nice. Or what I like, I have a hot tub in my house. A little early morning coffee in the hot tub too is not too bad. But this is a one acre lot community. His lot goes, you can see that kind of flag back there. There's a small, there's a drainage area back behind it. So that's gonna be his like closest neighbor back there. So he's gonna have a lot of privacy. Definitely still gonna see somebody eventually will build on that lot and his lot where all the trees are real thick. That's what this area used to look like before they cleared it out. All right, let's head on back inside because I still haven't shown off the master bedroom. Beautiful metal roof. All right. I'm just gonna leave that open for now. I'll close it after I'm done with the video. But this is gonna be so cool. Just to watch your step a little bit. All right, and then you're coming right into the master bedroom. So good size master bedroom with its own door going out to the pool area. It's gonna have a tray ceiling on there. And then a really good size big bathroom. You have dual vanities. A, uh, what I call a little car wash shower. They've already got some built-ins for the shampoo bottle, I got a step built in there. Yes, we got water in there. That's what builders do at this stage. Plenty of lights. And you can kind of see the shower heads. <clears throat> All right, coming around, you're gonna have uh, little water closet rooms, plenty of width in it, plenty of space so you're not feeling crowded. When you're doing some thinking time, thinking time, if y'all didn't hear me right. All right, and then you got the master bedroom closet. That's gonna be a good size closet. I'm super excited for them. As you can see, sheetrock's getting ready to go up, so I'm glad I was able to get this video in to kind of show my client what stage it is in now. So I got a bunch of stuff pre-wired for TV, being able to run everything in. Always a great idea to do that stuff in advance. <clears throat> but man, this is gonna be a beautiful home. I will be doing a video tour of this once it does get sheetrocked in. You're gonna have a fireplace, a low linear fireplace, and then all blocked in for a big TV right there. And then some built-in cabinets on either side. So super cool. Oh, this closet here is gonna have all the smart home devices all plugged into it on that side all right one last look remember this is the jolie plan just over 3,000 square feet four bedrooms three and a half baths remember grand endeavor does do semi-custom homes so you can take that jolie plan and get creative with it because that's what they did here by adding an extra two feet adding this super cool door and i'm excited to see this house come to life that can wrap up the uh, tour of this Jolie plan being built by Grand Endeavor in the beautiful community of Bell Oaks. Now they're also building the same plan in that preserved community located next to Vintage Oaks. So if you like this layout, but it don't have a lot available, Grand Endeavor is doing a combined lot and house for some pretty crazy prices. So in, in a good way. So uh, I do have a price list, but for their base price, but feel free to reach out to me if you're curious for more information about maybe getting a Jolie plan built in the preserves near, uh, preserves at Elm Creek is what it's called, in New Braunfels. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, of course, I want you to hit that like button, share this videos with your friends and family, and uh, that's gonna do it for today. Take care now, bye.